everyone, it's Deidre here of 180 Consulting, your Tri-Cities personal fashion stylist and image consultant. I'm actually coming at you today from my bedroom. So a little side note, my husband and I finally moved to our uh, dream home just this last April, actually on my birthday, so happy birthday to me, right? Um, well, as it so happens, I've decorated every other room but my bedroom. So as you can see, my walls are completely bare. I apologize for that. I chose this room to film in today simply because the lighting is working really well right now. I've got a big window right behind my camera and the sun is just peeking through a little bit so that you can actually see me and you can see what we're talking about. So let's dive right into what I'm talking about today. Last week I decided to start talking about the style types. So I'm going to start a style series for the, probably the next five to six weeks. Uh, so the first one I wanted to talk about was Bohemian. I know we're hearing Bohemian and Boho everywhere right now. We started kind of hearing about it this time last year and it's just picked up full speed ahead. Now some of you may have already been Bohemian in your style for a number of years and you're sitting there going, yeah, where's everybody else been? I've been on board the Boho train for a while. <laughs> well, congrats to you and I'm, I'm happy for you. Um, me personally, I kind of started to like bohemian styles about two years ago and I remember I wore a floppy hat actually here in town. It was actually two years ago, exactly to the date, and I got some weird looks. However, now if I were to wear a big floppy hat, everyone kind of just takes it as normal. So I'm excited that one of my favorite vintage vibes is back in style right now. I don't rock it every single day myself. Um, but it is something that I will pull out just depending on my mood. Maybe if I'm rocking my kind of naturally curly hair, I'm doing that a little bit right now, I'll throw on a little boho vibe just because it's more of that free spirited, go with the flow nature. I think that's what really boils down to the bohemian vibe. It's, it's very free spirited. I think free people, that, that brand is very bohemian. They have been for since their brand started. It's very earthy, kind of go with the flow, like I think I already said that, but very um, eclectic. So it pulls from lots of different cultures. So you might see lots of tribal prints or even, you know, um, kind of worldly inspired fabrics, textures. The biggest thing with bohemian or kind of updated bohemian chic, as I like to call it, is suede and natural fibers. You're going to see a lot of leather, whether it's fake or, or real, a lot of um, suede, natural materials, wood, stones, everything like that that you might find in nature you're going to see show up in the bohemian style. So I'm actually showing an outfit today. I actually wore this video or this outfit last week when I came at you from my car and I was wearing a hat. It was this outfit. So I decided to explain a little bit about it with our bohemian style video today. Again, I'm wearing this awesome hat. It's got feathers, something you would find in nature. You wouldn't have to wear this outfit with the hat. Um, I just had a bad hair day, so I threw on my hat. But you're gonna see a lot of leather. So this is actually a leather tassel necklace made by my friend Brie, Brie Guerrero. She lives here in town and she's the owner of, um, oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank right now. I'll tag her in here so you can figure out what her company's called, but she sells all of her jewelry down at Threads Boutique. She and her mom own and operate Threads, the boutique downtown Kennewick, and so she sells her jewelry, handmade jewelry there, and she'll even make custom pieces for you as well. And then I just threw on a little denim jacket with it because it is still a little bit cooler outside. And then my favorite part of this outfit is this suede dress underneath. It's actually from this summer, so to turn it into fall, like I said, I added the jacket because it is sleeveless. It's a little denim jacket. It's 100% um, suede on there. It's a Bailey 44 dress. I found it this summer and I just fell in love. And then one of my other favorite trends with this whole bohemian vibe is saddlebags. Who doesn't love a good saddlebag? They're, they're awesome in size. You can throw everything in here. This particular one, like I said, fits quite a bit inside. I love that it's the suede. And again, with this trend, the awesome thing is your leathers don't have to match. So even though this is a darker suede than the dress, it still works because it's part of that style. I love the tassel features on this one. This one is actually by Rebecca Minkoff and it's called the Vanity Saddlebag. They sold out of it this summer, but they actually just re 
put it into production so you can find them now again and they have lots of different colors and suede for fall. So that's my favorite feature about this little outfit. And then again, with it going into fall, I grabbed a couple different types of shoes with it. These are just a little lace up, Sam Edelman. These would be a little more dressy. These are the ones I actually wore with it the other night. Or you could do something like this, more of a booty style. Again, it's suede, a little more casual, and they go great with the entire look. If you're getting a little chilly and you wanna have your toes covered, you can always do more of a Western inspired boot, a little booty. These are just some fry ones. I've worn these a lot in a lot of my photos and, and fashion shoots just because they're super comfortable and the leather on these guys, I don't know what it is, but it's practically made of gold because they've never stained or gotten ruined and I've worn them through the mud and muck and lots of nasty things outside. <laughs> so that's the bohemian style. You can do dresses, you can do it with denim. Feel free to rock your, your old boot cut, flare jeans, rock a little kind of peasant top with it, throw anything with suede, like I said, or leather, tassel, any sort of natural stones, and you're gonna rock that bohemian inspired look. And with those natural stones and the real suede, whether it's faux or real, it's gonna make it more of an elevated or chic bohemian style. I also have another little outfit just to show you as well. So, this is a floral dress, right? Just a little easy floral dress. Threw it on with a cropped moto style jacket, which doesn't typically go with bohemian, but it's a great way to turn this dress into a fall piece, and it's still kind of going with the whole bohemian trend. You could wear even this hat with it if you wanted. You could switch out and use the saddlebag with it and any of the shoes that I've shown you. So just a little tip for you as you're maybe getting dressed for fall, wanting to turn some of your summer pieces into fall and winter pieces that are still going into the whole very on trend, bohemian chic look. So that is my first style for our style series, updated or chic bohemian. Stay tuned for next week's style type, again on Trendy Tuesday. If you haven't already, go to my website, 180consult.com to see daily fashion inspirations. And if you haven't also liked it, why not? Like my page, 180 Consulting, right here on Facebook for all of these great videos and tips. Thanks again and have a great day.